Shall we begin? There are many theories on ball position, but I like to keep it as simple as you can. Number one, when you're playing lofted clubs, sand wedges, pitching wedges, nine irons, even eight irons, as a rough rule, always play them roughly from the center of your stance. Okay? The reason for this is, the main thing you want to do with a lofted iron is clearly hit the golf ball first and compress it into the dirt. Okay? If you get a little bit too far forward, there's a chance you got that upwards hit. And with a lofted club, your leading blade's going to come into play every time. So play them roughly from the center of your stance. That way you're always on a downward hit, hitting that golf ball and then taking out your divot post impact. Okay? As the clubs get less and less loft, towards something like a five iron, we move the ball slightly further forward. Reason for this is, your swing arc's still on a downward tilt, but it's shallowing out. You clearly don't want to be as steep as you are with a sandwich with a five iron because you haven't got the loft to help you. So you want to sweep it a bit more off the grass. You still want to take out a divot, you still want to hit after impact, you still want to have the club coming down towards the golf ball, but by playing it just a little bit further forward, it gives the arc of this swing a little chance to flatten out a fraction more, get the ball going where you need to. Once you get towards your drivers, or your three woods, or even hybrids, we start to get towards putting the ball near the inset of your front foot. Okay, reason for this is again, your underarm is pretty much the end or the base of your swing. This is where your swing bottoms out, okay? If we've got the ball back like we have with short irons, of course you've got a downward hit. The bottom of the arc's here, you've still got a downward hit, what we want. As you get to five iron, you've still got a downward hit, just not as steep. As we get to driver, you're up opposite your ankle, okay? You've got a downward strike coming towards the ball, and when you get towards the ball, the golf club is now hovering through impact, or traveling horizontal, and now you're using the effective loft of your driver, you know, 10.5, 11 degree, whatever it might be. That's what's hitting the golf ball. What you don't want to do is get into the habit of trying to fall back and scoop it. You want to use whatever loft you've got. That's what they're designed for, to come out low and to get running for you. So, in short, Short irons, try to play them from roughly centre because you want to be taking a divot, having a downward hit. Mid irons, a little bit further forward, okay, enables you to still have that downward hit and compress the ball, but it's a little bit shallower. As you get towards your woods, you play them off front foot so that your swing is basically bellowing out, that's where the flat point is, so it's hovering through impact, so you get a nice clean strike with the effective loft that you have on your driver. If you follow those basic set of rules, most of the time you'll be able to pick the ball off accordingly to what kind of club you've got and get the pretty much effective ball fight you should have. <laughs>